My name is Donald. I'm 43 years old. Um, recently just came back to society from doing um, oh, quite a few years in prison. My first three weeks out, I put in seven applications. I haven't got a call back once from anything. No feedback whatsoever from any of the applications I put in. I get up in the morning, um, headed to my destination, which is in advanced employment class. Okay. This is something I've been looking forward to doing. When I say I want to be whole, I want to be a whole person. I want to wake up in the morning knowing I got a place in society. I'm accepted. My name is Jay Parker. I am a deacon and I'm also involved in 10 other ministries here. Well, while looking for other jobs, I filed for Kmart. I filed for a job at UPS and all of those places pretty much turned me down because of my record. I did have to fill a little box out asking if I have a record. Most job applications have the question, have you ever been convicted of a crime? When employers see that question answered yes, the application often ends up in the trash regardless of the applicant's qualification. Ban the Box is legislation that removes this question from job applications and provides key protections against employment discrimination for people with records. Employers will still be able to conduct criminal background checks. I believe it would be different if that box wasn't on an application because again, somebody would be able to sit down and speak with me one-on-one -on -one and actually get to know me for who I am instead of somebody that I used to be. There are many ingredients to successful prisoner reentry: housing, substance abuse treatment, the ability to reconnect with a family support system. The most important, the pillar, the key, is employment opportunity. Why do I want, I want to work. I want to work because it gives me a sense of value. I need something to hold on to. I got like, I got my personal family. I got that, that's there. The love's there, that's great. But I need to feel like what I'm doing is worth something. I think it's got to be very frustrating for individuals who have shown they have a good work ethic uh, and have learned some skills and can function effectively in a workplace to feel as if they're not going to get an opportunity to succeed simply on the basis of the criminal record. Uh, I've been here for 11 months. My employer knows about my criminal record. They just seen something in me and they said, yeah, let, let, let's hire him right on the spot. Thomas is great. As an employee, as someone who accepts and maintains responsibility, I, he's, he's the best one I have. Three or four of my, my best employees have records and they just want someone to give them a second chance, and they definitely deserve that. My name is Frank Genistry, and I'm a partner and owner here at Liberty Rentals in South Kingston. Regarding the factors we look for when we hire someone, honesty and dependability are obviously the major ones for us. I don't really think criminal background has any bearing on it. If anything, it makes them want to succeed and, and try a little harder. I mean, they have something to prove. We're here because we want our folks to be looked upon as, as human beings and to be able to walk and live with dignity, you know? We don't want their record to be the thing that scars them for life. People of color are much more likely to be arrested and much more likely to be convicted of crimes than their white counterparts. If it is the case, and some studies do show this, that employers treat individuals of different races who have committed the same offense differently, then that arguably is discrimination based on race. Ban the box legislation is probably one of the most critical current civil rights issues. Ban the box is passed in 42 cities and counties in six states, including Connecticut and Massachusetts. Passing ban the box gives us an opportunity to really be able to um, involve 
a whole host of people in our workforce that currently are being shut out of our workforce. People with skills and abilities and talents and creativity. These individuals made a mistake in their lifetime, but that does not mean that they should pay for this for the rest of their life. I never heard a judge sentence any individual to a lifetime of unemployment. People that served their time, they would be able to uh, uh, reclaim their lives and put their past behind them, become productive members of society, and uh, move forward and take care of their families and, 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 and to live and, and like anybody else. The young men out here, the young women out here who are getting out of jail, they need to know that they do have a future so this way they can become something to the community, to the neighborhood, to their families, and to their friends because as long as we continue to judge them on their past, that's where they're gonna stay. I'm ready to live now. I'm doing this for my future, the future of my children, my grandchildren. That's why I'm doing this now. Everything I do today, I'm doing it so they can say, wow, my father didn't give up. He made mistakes, but he did not give up. He made something of his life. 2013 is the year to pass Ban the Box.